So this is our ram pump here that is clicking away, as you can see. And I'm letting it pressurize before I send it up the hill here. It's uh, got a little pressure gauge on here that tells me how much it is, the pressure's built up. And it needs a certain amount of back pressure to really work well uh, for most ram pumps. This one will tend to uh, do it even with a minimal amount of back pressure. As you can see, the pressure currently getting close to 140 and that I don't like going much above 150 because our tank is actually this pressure tank right here is only rated for about 150 psi so what I can do here is actually I can start to release this pressure see here and let it go up the line Hear that being released, it's going down now. You can hear a little bit of a change in the rhythm of the pump. So it's down about 70 now. And you can see what this looks like. I can do this. Pretty, pretty good pressure there. And uh, yeah, so what that does is it runs to a um, tank back at the house that normally, well, it's a, about a 180 gallon, no, maybe a 220 gallon pressure tank, which only means it holds maybe about 40 gallons actually, and, uh, and that's will build up overnight and then we'll be able to uh, run a lot of the house on it but this pumps about a half gallon per minute which is not too bad um, that's a lot of gallons in a day but you've got to have some kind of reservoir because you can quickly use more than a half gallon a minute with your your household appliances so anyways really grateful for this cool little deal and the ability to use water pressure to pump water for free for our homestead.